Welcome to the world of numbers. So what we have here, um, I'm going to try to put every single number in the world on this board. Well, not really. But uh, what I do want to represent is all real numbers. All right. Now, there's two types of real numbers. All right. And I'm going to kind of represent them small here. We have irrational numbers. And we're going to have rational numbers. All right? So what I want to do is actually, let's not cut off the real number part. These are all real numbers. Both irrational and rational are going to produce us our real numbers. Uh, and they're real because you know we can see them. We can understand them. We can count them. Um, but let's first go ahead and talk about irrational numbers. So, you know, just to kind of make a little bit of math, you know, you talk about, you know, someone's irrational, right? They're not making sense. Well, irrational numbers, they do make sense, actually. But what happens is they are going to go on forever, and we cannot write them as a fraction. So let's take a look at it. Um, if you type in your calculator, square root of 8. Now, the square root of 8 is 2.828.4271, you might say in your calculator. However, if maybe you pick out a computer, or you pick out another calculator, you'll notice that it keeps on going more and more digits, right? Well, the square root of 8 is actually a um, repeat, a non repeating decimal where it keeps on going on and on and on forever. So, therefore, we can't simply just write, you know, square root of 8 is this over this because this square root of 8 keeps on going on and on forever. Our most famous irrational number is pi. And because you know we always talk about pi, where we've there's like oh how many digits can we get a pi, and you know where are the patterns in pi, and they still you know to this day as it's been filmed they haven't been able to pinpoint um, you know the digits um, the number of digits or if there's been really any patterns. So we know that pi goes on and on forever. Therefore, it's an irrational number as we cannot write it as a you know a fraction to write in as a whole as a whole number. Um, and also, it doesn't matter if you write in the square root of you know, 17. So anytime we're dealing with, uh, you know, dealing with the square root or you know, with pi, it doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. But as long as it's not a square number, like square root of 16 would not be an irrational number. That would be a rational number, which I'll talk about in a little bit. bit. But for right now, if you can just remember, irrational numbers are numbers that we're not going to be able to write in a fractional form. Um, and that are going to be non-repeating, um, going on and on and on forever. So there you go. There's a couple examples of irrational numbers.